Hi everyone, it's me Devanchi. Welcome to my channel. Today, I came up with a new experiment. Let's make a density tower. So, but what is density? Density is how heavy a liquid is. So the more denser the liquid will stay on the bottom and the less denser liquid will float on the top. For this experiment, I have six different types of liquid. For example, if I take water and oil, which one is more denser? Water is more denser. That means water will stay on the bottom and oil will float on the top. Now let's get started on the experiment. So what did I use? Honey, dishwashing liquid, water, oil, alcohol, and lamp oil. First, you're going to take your honey and layer it. But first, oh my god, I forgot an important thing. I also have food coloring, bowls, a tall glass, and a spoon. I'm so sorry, I forgot these. Now that I'm fully completed with my materials, let's start with the honey. So, we're gonna layer the honey on the bottom. I'm gonna try not to waste a lot because honey is very precious. Mm. I'll add that much honey. I don't wanna waste honey. Now let's add our dishwashing soap. As you can see, I'm adding green dishwashing soap. So the color is gonna be a little bit vibrant. Oops. So, as you can see when I added these two layers, what do you see? Did they mix? No, they didn't. Honey stayed on the bottom and dishwashing liquid stayed on the top. This is because honey is dense than dishwashing liquid. Now for water. But I don't want to add plain water. That's going to be too boring since water is transparent. So I'll be adding a little bit of pink food coloring. Is this much water going to be good? That's a little bit more. And now, since I love the color pink, I'll want it a little bit dark. So I'll be adding two to three. I'll be adding two to three drops. Come on. One, two, and three. I'm really excited for what's gonna happen when I add water. This is my favorite shade of pink. So now, since this is water, and I'm gonna now add it on top of dishwashing liquid. So I have to put it a little bit slowly. Whenever you're adding the water and the dishwashing liquid, you have to put it very slow because as you can see, if you add too much fast, then it's going to mix.
And I actually learned that I shouldn't even put it on the side. I should put it in the middle because that's where the red and green don't mix. And even if they do mix, they come up back up. Mm, should I add more? Yes or no? I don't want to. So now, next layer is the vegetable oil. And since vegetable oil already has a yellow color, I'm not going to be adding any color, food coloring. Again, do it very slow. Oh, do you remember what I said in the beginning? I said when water and if you take water and oil, both will not mix. And here's proof. Did the water and oil mix? Water is denser. That means it already it stayed on the bottom. So now let's add the alcohol and alcohol is again transparent so let's add a purple color i'll be adding hmm two or three i'll be adding three drops of food purple food coloring. One, two, three. So instead of mixing the pink with the purple, I'll be wiping all the pink so the pink and purple don't mix. coloring stuck. I guess it's fine. So now let's do the same thing that we did with water. And let's watch what happens. Wow, the alcohol is making its own layer. Now, last but not least, let's add lamp oil. Add it slowly and steadily. As you can see, the lamp oil actually mixed with the vegetable oil. Because if you look closely, that's what happened. Let me try putting a little more oil to see what happens. Yeah, the same thing's happening. So here, as you can see, I used six different ingredients, but at the end, one, two, three, four, five. Five layers are actually shown. And this is because, again, as I'm saying, the lamp oil and vegetable oil actually mixed. <laughs>